It's a simple question with a diabolically difficult answer. Is Tegan Lane dead or alive? She was last seen as a two-day-old leaving a Sydney hospital with her mother Kelly, an aspiring Australian Olympian. That was 20 years ago. What happened to baby Tegan after that has never been explained. Instead, there have been any number of theories, mostly to do with the bizarre behaviour of her mother. In 2010, Kelly Lane was found guilty of murdering Tegan, even though her body has never been found. Now, in a last desperate bid to prove she is not a baby killer, Kelly's parents, Sandra and Robert, break their silence. Yep. Great shots. Yeah. Brings back a lot of memories. How are you feeling about the sentence, Mrs Lane? How's Kelly? And that's one when we're a very, very happy family. Please don't nudge me like that. Robert and Sandra Lane's dream is to be enjoying a comfortable retirement on Sydney's northern beaches, surrounded by family. But that will never happen while their only daughter, Kelly, a former champion water polo player, languishes in prison. She was girl of the carnival. In January 2004, Sandra and Robert's world was torn apart when they first learned Kelly had been leading a double life. But I'm still not sure why you have to discuss. Like, well, you asked me here to talk about Tegan. I'm confused now. I want to get to the truth. How did you react to that news? You're shocked. Stunned would be a really good word. Mm -hmm. Australians watched in disbelief as the Kelly Lane story unfolded. A popular elite water polo player secretly gives birth to three children. She adopts two of them out, but one, Tegan, simply vanishes. How can a child disappear without anyone knowing? And how did Kelly Lane hide three pregnancies? Tonight, Kelly's parents, Sandra and Robert, are breaking their silence. It's difficult for them. They hate the spotlight. But they're here because they believe there's been a miscarriage of justice. And Kelly should be free. The general perception out there is your daughter's a convicted child killer. Well, well it, <sighs> of course it is. Um, but... It, it happened prior to her being convicted. She was being demonised in the media for... Years. Ten years. There was nothing nice said about her. Kelly Lane, who's now 40, is five years into an 18-year sentence for killing her baby, Tegan, back in 1996. But she says she didn't do it and that there's a simple explanation. Tegan isn't dead. When she was two days old, Kelly gave her away to the father, a man she'd had a brief affair with. Do you believe Kelly's story? Yes, I do. It sounds improbable, but there are a lot of improbable things happen in life. Robert, do you believe it? Of course. The truth's stranger than fiction, isn't it, they always say. To understand Kelly, the convicted killer, it helps to understand Kelly, the person. That's back to when she was seven. Water polo was Kelly's passion. She loved the camaraderie of playing a team sport and was selected for various national squads. This is the first time anyone's had a chance to hear about Kelly. She's in jail and so today you're her voice. Tell me about the Kelly that you know. Well, Kelly was a wonderful daughter. Um, she still was very, is. And still, still is a, a wonderful daughter. We love her dearly, even though we've been in a difficult position for many years. What were your hopes for her? I just wanted her to be happy to really enjoy what she was doing and whatever goals she had in life to achieve them. In the mid-1990s, Kelly was making her name in the water polo world. 
on the cusp of success, she told nobody of her three pregnancies and the resulting children. Among teammates and friends, there were whispers about her fluctuating weight, even talk of a baby bump. But Kelly kept training and competing, only taking a couple of days off for each birth. This was your daughter living under your roof and you didn't notice she was pregnant three times. Some people indicated they had suspicions, but we didn't know and if you don't know, you don't know. It's as simple as My that. My friends didn't know. Yeah. And at the time, fashion was, you didn't wear tight clothes, it was just all baggy gear and seeing she spent most of her time in, like, track suits and whatever, going to and from training and all the rest of it. it, it I mean, nobody knew. So that point. can happen with people. I mean, they have cases where women get a stomach pain, they think, and they go and have a baby. So, But in this instance, I guess, it was three times. Yeah. Yeah, well, I can't... We can't say I any, can't give you any other say, answer. I can't can, all I can say is that nobody knew. Mm. I mean, you don't go around with a great big sign on your head saying, oh, I've had a baby. Do you wish you had noticed? Oh, of course. Of course. It would be we our, wouldn't be in this position now, it would be obviously. Mm. Tegan Lane was born on the 12th of September 1996. But what's central to this mystery is what happened two days later when Kelly and Tegan left hospital together. A few hours after being discharged, Kelly was celebrating a friend's wedding on the other side of Sydney. But Tegan had vanished. She's never been seen since. Do you think Kelly murdered her baby? No. 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 Why are you so sure? I don't think she'd hurt anybody, to be truthful, especially a child. Kelly had a wedding on the other side of Sydney that afternoon. You don't think it's possible that she panicked? Dumped the baby somewhere? No. It was broad daylight for a start. You know, where is she going to dump, dump a child in broad daylight in such a short time frame? What's truly alarming is how close Kelly came to keeping her secret forever. It wasn't until 1999, three years after Tegan was born, that a vigilant social worker discovered that she was missing. He alerted police, but it took 15 months before detectives asked Kelly the question, where's Tegan? In your words, can you just explain to us the circumstances of when the child was born and what happened subsequent to that? Uh, after a brief affair with uh, the father of the child, I gave birth. We made an arrangement that he would come and take custody of Tegan um, as I was unable to take care of her myself. Did you know the investigation was taking place? No. No, no idea. No idea. Mm. During her first interview with police, Kelly told detectives Tegan's father was Andrew Morris natural father of the child is an Andrew Morris, is that correct? That's correct. But in a second interview more than two years later, she told them it could be Andrew Norris. She wasn't sure. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm confused. I'm... Do, you, do you know the father of the child's name? Yes, I do. What is it? Andrew Norris. Norris? Yes. Okay. Do you think Kelly understood the implications of the, those police interviews no. that she did no, with detectives? No, no. 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 Mm. If she did, she would have had a solicitor there and she wouldn't ha have any interviews. Detectives grew even more suspicious when a nationwide search failed to find the father or baby Tegan. Did you kill the child? No, I did not. I did not do anything like that. Someone else. No! No! Police were also secretly recording Kelly's phone calls. In one, she tells a friend she's terrified of losing her young daughter, Kelly's fourth child, who she kept. 
I used to worry so much about wanting to be a sports star and being a, you know, achieving these wonderful things, but the only thing I'm really good at is being a mum. Kelly also reveals her fear that Robert and Sandra would find out about her secret pregnancies. Katie, when my parents find out, and like, it's, it's gonna circulate, it's not gonna, it's gonna blow wide open. And they're gonna be so embarrassed and ashamed. You don't know that that's gonna happen. Oh, it is, it is. When did you find out? When did Kelly tell you about Tegan? Well, she didn't tell us, the, uh, the police told us. Why do you think Kelly felt she couldn't confide in you? I believe that she was um, trying to protect us, our standing in the community. She's trying to protect her standing in the community and, uh, and possibly the, the fathers. And uh, for that reason uh, alone. You know, you it was something that she, and she was very young. 19, 19 to 21 this was <laughs> happening. So, uh, what goes through young girls' minds, well, I don't know. Hello? Hi, Mum, it's me. Hi. Hi, how are you? All right. That's good. The phone taps also reveal how Sandra was questioning her daughter's story. So was the child still alive up until three years ago? Up until... Well, you said they first contacted you three years ago. Yeah, I, I'm under the assumption she still is now. As more of this bizarre story became public, more of Kelly's dark secrets and inconsistencies were laid bare. The investigation and Kelly's eventual murder trial would drag on for more than a decade. I find that the offence was premeditated, but only for a short time. It was committed in a situation of desperation, arising from a sense of entrapment and isolation, how are you feeling about the sentence, Mrs Lane? It took its toll, and horrified at what was unfolding, Kelly's parents closed ranks. Why did you stay silent? We're private people. How do you sort of manage to say, look, just would you please listen to anything we have to say? Because I just felt that, you know, they weren't interested in that anyway. No. So, and it was probably know. further that... That, that, you know, they bullied us, intimidated us. But there was a missing child. Can you understand why there was such intense scrutiny? Of course. Well, of course, but um, not for it to be so lengthy. How much of your anger is directed at Kelly for putting you in this situation? None. Well, none, because I've never thought of it. No. I've never we, thought of that. We, I just... We, we, we uh, feel that... You know, we wish we were uh, we weren't in this position, mm. but it's happened. We can't change it, so all we can do is support her. Coming up, did Kelly kill Tegan? If what you're saying is right, an innocent woman is in jail. Yes. A secret witness the jury never heard. Andrew Norris Morris exists. She told me about him at that time. That's not a coincidence. And Kelly behind bars. It's really hard to sit here and hear all these So if you went back to a retrial, would you speak now? That's next on 60 Minutes.